you know I'm not into black guys. Hey guys, I'm Ben and this, you know what, let's just go straight into this mess. So as you can see, Jack is not beside me for this video and there is a very good reason why. Going through our inbox this week for Ask Jack and Ben, you would not believe how many people sent in questions about being black and gay. I thought rather than make Jack just sit here and listen to me go on and on about being black and gay and kind of like throw shade at it, I'm just going to come to all of you with my experiences and then if you need help you can take it, if not you can still be entertained. So you do not need to be black or gay or both to watch this video. This is going to have like a little bit of learning for everybody out there and yeah. Whatever has brought you to this video, let's just talk, listen and learn together. And hopefully you can leave some juicy comments down below and we'll start a conversation and get this ball rolling. Being black and gay means people expect you to be the long lost member of RuPaul's Drag Race season whatever. The minute people realise that I'm gay, they expect me to be like, Yes, hunty! Slay queen! Girl! And all of that, and it's just like, bruh, it is too much. You know what? That's actually a really bad example, because if you've seen any of our YouTube videos, I say all of those things. <laughs> Next, being black and gay means, oh gosh, it is just hard. <laughs> it is hard enough being black in modern society, so you just gotta add gay in there too. Oh gosh. I actually remember the day I realised I was black. And that sounds really weird, but if you speak to children, like little, little children, and you ask them about race, they have no idea. Little black children will not realise they're black. Little white children will not realise they're white. They're just children. However, I remember when I was six years old and I was in school and I was getting ready for sports. And for some reason, I'd forgotten my sports kit. So the teacher turned to this kid in my class and was just like, Hey Timmy, that's not his name, but hey Timmy, um, Ben's actually forgotten his sports kit. So would you be good with passing over like your t-shirt so Ben can use it? Timmy started crying. Now, he cried because in his words, he didn't want my brown to rub off on his white shirt. And you damn well know I was the only black kid in that school. So I was fully thinking to myself, what have I done to be cursed with being so different? Next, being black and gay means you always need to guess whether someone is into black guys. I don't even want to discuss this one because it has taken me so long to even become comfortable with talking about it. But let me break this down for you. When I was first coming to terms with being gay, I went to a club called G.A.Y. in London. And this was when I was like 18 years old. I was doing the most to get with this guy. I was flirting, I was giving a little like booty shake. I was doing the absolute most to try and get his attention and ultimately <laughs> I wanted him, it is what it is. All I remember is that one of this guy's friends whispered in his ear, ooh, that guy next to you is really good looking, who is he? And the guy I was interested in said, I don't know who he is, he's really cute, but you know I'm not into black guys. I don't understand why people are so outward with it. Like people always have the argument of whether it's a preference or not, whether it's racism or not. I don't think it's racist, I just think it's rude. Growing up and not feeling attractive as a black man is difficult, very difficult. I'm sure some of you out there are going through it and you're not black, you may be white. You may be thinking that people don't value how you look because you're not like muscular and toned or whatever, or maybe like your breasts aren't as big as other girls, whatever it is. You would have gone through something that's made you feel a bit rubbish. Being told by people that are not into black guys when you're a black guy yourself and trying to meet someone it is the worst feeling in the world. But let's move on. Next! Being black and gay means sometimes it's just easier to not come out. I've said it before and I will say it again, I am the only one out of all of my black gay friends who is out to their family. There's just something a little bit extra dramatic about being black and gay when it comes to coming out. It is just, it's tough man, it is so, so tough. In all honesty, if I hadn't been outed in school, which is another story for another day, I probably wouldn't be out at the moment. I would have stayed with girls, I would have just gone through all of that drama because to me, it just wasn't worth it. Yes, other people have dramatic coming out experiences as well, but when you're black and gay, it's just next level drama. I don't know, there's just something extra special about it. It's just, <laughs> it's like a little sprinkle of drama on top of whatever you're dealing with. Ugh. Next, being black and gay means sometimes you just don't fit into society's perceptions of you. When you're black and you're a man, you're like deemed to be masculine and strong and protective. 
when you're gay, you're looked at as feminine and weak and flamboyant and sassy and all of that. They're literally polar opposites. So when you come out as black and gay, people don't really know what box to put you in. It's like, are you strong or are you weak? Are you masculine or are you feminine? Ultimately, that's the reality of stereotypes and schemas. Like people just need to put other people into a box to understand them. It's almost as if they don't really mix and blend because people just haven't had the opportunity to put those two together and come out with diversity, which is where we all fit in the spectrum. Moonlight was so shocking to people because it was the first time that they were seeing an emotional, vulnerable black man. People aren't used to seeing black men in a position of vulnerability where they're emotional, they're crying, they're sad, they're putting their emotions out there for people to like understand. I honestly think that Moonlight could have been about straight people and still had the same reaction. Next! Being black and gay means you don't have role models within the media, within movies, within TV, within online, nothing. Where is my person to look up to that I can identify with as a black gay man? They're not there. <laughs> They're just not there. So when I was fully coming to terms with my sexuality, I was thinking, am I the only non-white gay person on this planet? Like, where are people like me? Why, why are they not proud? Why are they not in the parades? Why are they not on TV? Why are they not in the adverts? Why does it feel like it's just me? Especially if you're not camp. The day we see boring gay men in the media, that's when you know we've made it. Because that is true diversity. Next! Being black and gay ultimately means that there's never anything positive that really happens about your life that goes on in the media. Moonlight was the only good thing that really happened to us and even that went wrong. Being black and gay is tough, but speaking about it will make it so much easier. Let's start this conversation and start loving ourselves. But the reality is, whether you're black, white, straight, gay, yellow, brown or a buffalo, like there is something that you will love about yourself and it is time to stand up and be proud of it. I would love you to comment something you love about yourself. Yes, we all have our negative points, but what is it that you adore about yourself? Let us know down below. Peace!